Good morning, Marymount, and happy Founders Day. It is such a joy to be the first to welcome you to our Founders Day prayer service on our birthday. Thank you so much to all of the teachers who help coordinate logistics for travel. So many people have made this what is sure to be a beautiful liturgy, celebrating our most special day. If anyone has any device that makes noise or takes pictures, now's the perfect time to make sure that that is put away. And now I welcome Mrs. Alvar to say a few words of welcome of her own. Thank you, Ms. Connie Alvin. I want to give credit to you for making our dream come true that we can celebrate together on this day. So can we give <laughs> Connie Alvin a big round of applause? I also want to have a special welcome to the four members of the RSHM who grace us today with their presence, very important in the history of our school. Shall we also give them a round of applause? So good morning, good morning, and happy, happy Founders Day, 96th Founders Day to all of you. I offer a very, very special welcome to all who are joining us on live stream today. Our founder, Mother Butler, chose to open the doors of our school on a very special day, February 2nd, 1926. February 2nd is a special day in the church because it honors Mary and her sacred heart. It also is the birthday of Mayor St. Jean, the founder of the RSHM. Today, we immerse ourselves not only into the 96 years of our Marymount history, but also into a more ancient church ritual, candles. Candles will be brought forward in today's procession. These candles were actually blessed at an upper school chapel by Father Gustafsson on January 24th. According to the ancient custom of the church, candles are blessed and lit on the Feast of the Presentation, February 2nd. The blessing of candle service on January 24th opened with naming God as the source and origin of all light so that we may all reach that light which never fails through Christ our Lord. My dear, dear Marymount community, the alums who are watching us today, all our friends, your parents, the nursery through class two are also watching us today. My beloved community, each one of us, diverse in many ways, is united in this community, always reaching toward the light, the promise of what is yet to come. And with faith, we will reach that light. We will imitate Jesus to be that light, to be that light, especially for others. So empowered by our mission and prepared to challenge, shape, and change the world, each Marymount student, and that's you, you are a light in the darkness. Please make sure you take a candle today to light it at home with your families. And when you pray, remember the RSHM, our beacon and our guiding light. Today on our 96th birthday, we have 96 girls, 96 girls participating as leaders in our liturgical service, either as singers, altar servers, Eucharistic ministers, procession leaders, lectors, and ministers of hospitality. Our faith has kept us strong for 96 years, and this faith will continue to be what keeps us strong forevermore. Please remain seated for the procession.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The response to today's opening prayer will be, Blessed be God forever. Brothers and sisters, the Lord invites us to the table to share in the body of Christ. Bless God for this goodness. I invite the senior class now to come forward to the altar for the blessing. This traditional blessing for class 12 is adapted from Mother Joseph Butler's prayer book. May you believe in God's love for you. God who loves you with more than a mother's love is always with you. Draw in close to the embrace of God, to the fountain and spring of eternal life Form the habit of looking at everyone with the eyes of Christ and be a light to souls. May you discover your vocation to be a labor of love until the whole world is on fire with love. Only God knows what the future holds, but as you struggle and soar, may you find in the sacred heart of Mary strength and grace and holiness all the days of your life. Amen. reading from the book of Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
today, class three, will enact the gospel. And so in order for everyone to be able to see this special part of our liturgy, you may remain seated for the gospel today. Please repeat after me, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. A light, a revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the day came to purify them according to the law of Moses, the couple brought Jesus up to Jerusalem so that he could be presented to the Lord. For it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male should be consecrated to the Lord. They came to offer in sacrifice a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accord with the dictate in the law of the Lord. There lived in Jerusalem at the time a certain man named Simeon. He was just and pious and awaited the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It was revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not experience death until he had seen the anointed of the Lord. He came to the temple now, inspired by the Spirit. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform for him the customary ritual of the law, he took him in his arms and blessed God in these words. Now, Master, you can dismiss your servant in peace. You have fulfilled your word, for my eyes have witnessed your saving deed displayed for all the peoples to see, a revealing light to the Gentiles, the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother were marveling at what was being said about him. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, This child is destined to be the downfall and rise of many in Israel, a sign that will be opposed. And you yourself shall be pierced with a sword so that the thoughts of many hearts may be laid bare. There was also a certain prophetess, Anna by name, daughter of Phanuel of the house of Asher. She had seen many days, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. 
She was constantly in the temple, worshiping day and night in fasting and in prayer. Coming on the scene at this moment, she gave thanks to God and talked about the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. When the pair had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee in their own town of Nazareth. The child grew in size and strength, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Mary Mount joins with the church in the celebration of Catholic Schools Week, a time to be thankful for the values of faith, knowledge, and service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Mary Mount School alumni, may they continue to live out the mission of our school, to challenge, shape, and change the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the life and the vision of Mother Marie Joseph Butler and for the contributions of the community of the religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary, particularly Sister Ross, Sister Anne, and Sister Clevey, for their faithfulness to God's call and commitment to the education of young women, we pray to the Lord. For the lives of Mary St. John and Pierre Gaillac, that we may celebrate and learn from the leadership and hope of their life stories and be guided by their example of courage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. During Black History Month, let us pray for activists and anti-racist leaders who help us to awaken a consciousness social justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our At the start of the Year of the Tiger, let us pray for all who celebrate Lunar New Year, and may it be a time of happiness, blessing, and prosperity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for healing and peace to fill the hearts of all who suffer from illness and all who mourn loved ones who have passed away. We include in our prayers all who have COVID and their caregivers. 
let us observe a moment of silent reflection for personal prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, deliver us, Lord, we from every evil, graciously grant us peace. Our Father, who art in heaven, I will be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us, Lord, we from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us now offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Good morning, students, and thank you, Concepcion, uh, for inviting me to this very prayerful and beautiful celebration of the founding of your school, Marymount. And I bring greetings from all of the religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary. They are united in prayer with you today and each day. I want to thank those students who acted out the gospel story for us so wonderfully. They showed us that Mary and Joseph brought the infant Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem shortly after his birth as required by Jewish law. The birth of Jesus is the most important birth in the history of the human family. Mary gives birth through the power of the Holy Spirit. We have received the same Holy Spirit in our baptism. Most of you have been baptized when you were very young. When you were baptized, your parents and grandparents, godparents asked the priests to pour water on you, and the priest prayed, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. At that time, you received a very special gift from God. God poured his Holy Spirit into you and made you God's very special daughter. God opened your heart. Something like that happened to Mary. God opened her heart and she wanted more than anything else in the world to listen to God and to do what God asked of her. The Holy Spirit helped her to do this. How can we create a deep relationship with Mary and imitate her in our lives. We know Mary was a woman of deep faith who trusted totally in God's love for her. She responded to all that God asked of her. She accepted her invitation from God to be the mother of God's son, Jesus. Simeon in the temple foretells that great sorrow will enter Mary's life. A sword will pierce her heart. Mary pondered Simeon's message and I believe she recalled his words when she was standing at the foot of the cross. Yes, Mary suffered deeply and her love of God and her trust in God's ways sustained her throughout her life. Today, I ask you to deepen your relationship with Mary. Talk with her as a friend. Talk with her as a mother. 
Share your hopes, your concerns, your problems, your joys, and also your weaknesses with Mary. She will help you to become stronger in knowing that God is with you, always loving you. Mary became the first disciple of her son, witnessing by her life that Jesus came that all may have life. We now are disciples of Jesus Christ, called to love others, to share in their joys and sorrows, and to forgive when others hurt us. We are called to love truly with mercy and with forgiveness. Not always easy, but the Holy Spirit gives us the grace to forgive. How do you live mercy and forgiveness each day? Mary forgave in her heart the crucifixion of her son. We are called to grow in such love and forgiveness in our lives. We ask Mary to journey with us so we may love and forgive in the same way that she did. Please pray to Mary each day. Become deeper friends with her and she will guide you to be the best person God calls you to be today and each day. So now, we thank God for the gift of Mary, and please remember that Mary trusted so much in God that we call her the Blessed Virgin Mary. May you continue throughout this year to live in the spirit of this Founders Day celebration. God bless you and our sisters pray for you and all in our global network of RSHM schools. Thank you. Soon we will have the opportunity to listen to Julia Tibbetts Founders Day senior speech. She is not able to be here with us today, so it is a video recording that students will be able to watch back at school, and everyone joining us on the live stream can find on Marymount's YouTube channel, available after you click off the stream. Here are just a few phrases from her beautiful reflection which is sure to inspire us all as we unite to celebrate Marymount's 96th Founders Day. Julia writes, when I was little, I thought Founders Day was to celebrate Marymount's birthday on February 2nd, as well as to celebrate my birthday, which is on January 31st. Like Mother Butler, we are strong and determined young leaders, fierce and fearless change makers in a changing world. I know that she is smiling at us as we spread that message of acceptance out into the world. 
Energized and inspired, we are now prepared to conclude today's Founders Day prayer service. Please stand. Our prayer service has ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God.